All right, so this problem is uh, about vectors. It's one of the easier ones in the homework. So you're fixing the roof of your house. Say that it looks kind of like this. And uh, you're over there. And you can probably tell why I didn't become an artist. So you're fixing the roof when a, a hammer breaks loose and slides down. So I guess it's going to go on this side. So the hammer is going to be um, over here. And it's pretty big so that you can see it. The roof makes an angle of 35 degrees with the horizontal. And the hammer is moving at uh, 4.5 meters per second when it reaches the edge. So here you're going to drop it. Um, initially, its velocity is going to be zero, but then gravity is going to start accelerating it uh, downwards. But along the, the roof, the surface of the roof. And so when it reaches this point, its velocity is 4.5 meters per second. So then you are uh, asked to get the horizontal and vertical components of the hammer's velocity at this point, just when it's leaving the, the roof. So that's um, fairly easy. We have. See, we essentially have this triangle, and we know that the magnitude here is 4.5 meters per second. And we want to know the x component and the y component. So uh, we have this angle, and this is the adjacent side. So remember that cosine theta is um, adjacent over hypotenuse. And we know the hypotenuse is 4.5 meters per second. So if we want the adjacent, we just multiply hypotenuse times cosine Theta is adjacent. The hypotenuse is the velocity. And theta is 35 degrees. And the adjacent is the x component of the velocity. It's a little weird better. Um, all right, so and this is 4.5. Um, meters per second. So let's do it. It's um, 3.7, 3.68, but 3.7 meters per second. Um, actually, you know, if you think about it, uh, this is moving in the negative direction, so the angle, the origin is here. So this velocity really, you know, it's, it's negative 3.7. Um, but something that the problem doesn't tell us is whether it was sliding down to the left or to the right or north or south. So, you know, let's just assume that it's the 3.7. And for the y component, it's the same thing. So sine theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So we move the hypotenuse over here to get the opposite. The hypotenuse is just 
the velocity, the magnitude of the velocity vector. The opposite is the y component of the velocity. The angle is 35 degrees. And the magnitude of the velocity is the 4.5 meters per second. Right. So we can do that. It's, um, it's 0.6 meters per second. And actually, that one, we are pretty sure that it should be negative because you know it is sliding down. Um, but anyways, mostly we are concerned with getting the magnitudes and um, you know, using the sine and, and, and cosine appropriately to get the components of, of a vector. So, yep, fairly simple. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks.